What's going on, y'all? Dre Ball and DreAllDay.com. I get asked pretty often by people once I, once they see me play ball, they see my the videos on YouTube or whatever. They ask me how many hours a day do you work out? And I always tell them I don't count my hours, and they say, "Well, on average, how many hours? Or on average, <laughs> how much time do you spend working out?" All right. Let me try to explain this one more time. Uh, it's not about, I'm sure all y'all heard the cliche, it's not about the hours you put into the work, it's about the work you put into the hours or whatever the fuck it is. I don't like to use cliches. It's not really about how much time you spend in the gym, it's just about getting the work done. Like, if you want to work on your crossover, if you spend 30 minutes with dedicated work on your crossover, like really working on it, imagining game situations, where you would catch the ball, what the defense is looking like, how people have defended you in the past. If you really imagine those game situations and get into it with really intense physical and mental practice, then you don't have to be in there for 10 hours. It's like can't no human, it's not physically possible to work out hard for 10 hours every single day. You might be able to do it once or twice, but you can't do it every day. So it's about, so when people ask me how many hours do I spend working out, I don't want you to try to measure yourself by how many hours you're working out or compare it to what another person says they do because you're not that person. What you got to do is figure out what it is that you want to work on, commit yourself mentally and physically to putting that work in, go and do it. And then at that point, you're not going to be worrying about how many hours you spend working out. It's just going to be about getting the work done. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to get this work done. And if you're in a situation where you only got a certain amount of time, so most of us don't got all the time in the world, Sometimes you only got two hours before you got to go do something else. So in that two hours that you got, you got to make it worth it. And the funny thing is, and people who only have a certain amount of time, they usually get more done than people who just got their time open to do whatever. Because if you just got all day to do whatever you want, usually you end up bullshitting through at least half of it because you know you got all day. But if somebody only got an hour and a half, they're going to make that hour and a half count because they know if they waste it, they're not going to have no more time to get it done. So maybe some of you can put yourself in that situation where you only got a certain amount of time because then you got, there's a sense of urgency to get things done and get it done right. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight on hours working out, et cetera, et cetera. Work on your game, DreAllDay.com. You just got one thing to say, yo. Work on your fucking game, man. Get it right. DreAllDay.com, baby. Boom. Done.